Can you see her? She's called Lady Liberty. It's what my parents saw when they first came to America, like you. Dear God, I am not of their faith, yet I know that in your eyes we are one. Oh Lord, you have taken us this far. Take us one step further. Take us one step farther to this land of promise, to this bright new Zion, this America, this America, this America, oh Lord, oh Lord. Ontario, your relocation center. Relax and enjoy the scenery. You'll be given your housing assignments in a few moments. Oh, just like you said, Miss Gruber. Trees, a lake, a little town. It's fine. <laughs> Can I help you, madam? Who are you? I'm William T. Cross, deputy director of the Ford Ontario Relocation Center. And you? I'm Ruth Gruber. I'm in charge of these refugees. About this Oh, yes, you brought them here, didn't you? I hope you had a good crossing, Miss Gruber. Welcome back to America. Is that where we are? You could have fooled me. What's that supposed to mean? 
I'll make it real plain, Mr. Cross. I'd like this fence taken down right away. Where these people come from, a fence equals death. The fence was not put up for them, Miss Gruber. Fort Ontario is a military post. It's always had a fence. Well, it's not being used for military purposes now. So for God's sake, take down the fence, get rid of these guards, so these people can come and go as they please without someone pointing a gun in their face. Impossible. They're under quarantine. For what purpose? To be debriefed and checked for contagious diseases. All right. How long will that take? A day? A week? A month? How long before they are free? Let's get something straight, Miss Groover. Your job here is over. My job will be over when Mr. Ickes tells me it's over. Suit yourself. In any event, Form 11126B will be distributed tomorrow morning to all refugees. On it, you will indicate the country of your origin for transit purposes. What are you talking about? They're all going back eventually, Miss Gruber. No, 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 that shouldn't surprise either you or them. They all signed a contract when they boarded the ship, an agreement to go back as soon as hostilities ended. We signed some sort of a paper. It, it seemed to be a formality. The forms will be distributed tomorrow at 0700 hours. Make sure they're filled out. No. No! This is wrong! This is terribly wrong! Those anti-Semites in Washington are going to have to listen to me. I will make them pay attention. I will make them see that what they're doing here is terribly, terribly wrong, even if I have to kill myself trying. Tanya, Marta, Yosef, Ziggy, Mr. Laskovich, please. Oh, David. Sasha, I will get you out of here. I promise, please believe me. I believe you. from the President of the United States. And it's about you. My dear Miss Gruber, I feel I know the people who are in your care after reading the accounts of their lives that you have prepared so thoroughly. I am also aware that the terms of their admission to the United States required that they be returned to the countries of their origin after hostilities ended. 
a condition they well understood. As their continued presence in America is clearly without any legal basis, I have no recourse but to issue the following directive. As soon as practicality permits, they will be transported in a convoy of military vehicles out of this country, across the Rainbow Bridge, into Canada, an arrangement we have worked out with the Canadian government. Once in Canada, the refugees will be met by an American consul who will give to each of them a visa for legal entry into the United States. May I extend a most sincere welcome to those 1,000 future Americans. <laughs> 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 around here. 